So this month I'm testing out the Owl Bubo, uh, if I'm saying that right. The Bubo um, aims to eradicate shakiness when shooting using an iPhone. Well, what better place to test out the Owl Bubo than the Wild Fowl and Wetlands Trust down here in Arundel. That's in uh, West Sussex. Uh, look. Um, it's so pretty. Uh, as far as actually filming when you're walking along, I've got to say it's a lot, lot easier. The uh, cast kind of iron body is quite heavy, so you can kind of move quite smoothly with it, uh, whereas when you're holding the iPhone 4, as I'm sure you've experienced on, on its own, damn it's fiddly to hold, the edges are so thin. So for the first of many panning shots, Ashley's back in action in this, this, this month's video. God, is she smiling? She's smiling! Now I'm not sure what your opinion is, but uh, I suspect that was a lot smoother than had I been using um, the iPhone on its own. In fact, let's just try it with the iPhone on its own. And we're going for exactly the same shot again. I've removed the microphone. As you can see, the smile isn't there this time. Could that be because you speed off? Hmm? Well, you'll have to be the judge of uh, which shot was better, or whether the owl was better or whether it didn't really make much difference. So one of the cool things uh, about the Owl Bubo, I'm whispering because I'm in one of the hides, is uh, that it has a 37mm lens adapter. So you get a much better um, kind of shot range um, that also acts as a, a macro lens as well. One of the uh, things I really love about this device is the plug-in microphone. Um, I think we've all experienced recording sound on an iPhone just using its built-in microphone, which is utter crap. Um, while I haven't actually heard the sound quality of this little plug-in mic that comes with the Bubo, um, let's face it, it can't be any worse. And the other thing that's cool as well is when you're shooting like I am right now, you can actually, it's on a pivot, the microphone's actually on a pivot, so you can basically flip it, uh, so you can do a voiceover commentary like I'm doing now, and then you can flip it back to capture um, the sound that's coming directly in front, which I'll do right now. And as you can probably see, my voice has probably dropped um, in volume. That's not because I'm now whispering, it's because I'm now picking up the sound straight ahead. Are you getting angry with me yet? Yes, Why are you getting angry? Ashley? <laughs> Just stop for a sec. What do you think of the owl bubo? <laughs> it's really annoying. Why is it annoying? It's annoying. Go away. Tell us about what you, what you raised earlier on. What, what, what was your issue with it? <laughs> There's a fan coming. Go on, say what you said earlier on, it was funny. What happens if the phone rings? And there's the big question. <laughs> what happens if the phone does ring? You look like a total knob holding a breeze block up to your ear. One of the things I do like about the owl is the way that you can stand it upright on its own on a table, or any flat surface for that matter, and you get a fairly steady shot. What is quite funny is the people on the other table were just commenting on the, how lovely and quiet it is here. And here's George. <laughs> Probably not. So here we have the obligatory tracking shot following George towards the, uh, the dogs. And while I've got to say, it's not very easy holding back your son whilst filming. Look at that! The owl is very easy to hold with one hand, um, which is more than I can say for the uh, iPhone on its own.
<laughs> so uh, here we are in one of the hides towards the end of our walk today for the verdict on the owl bubo. The actual casing for holding the iPhone 4, the actual rig itself as a steady cam shooter, I think it's wicked. I really, really like it. Um, it gives you much more control. It doesn't feel fiddly in your hands. There's loads of screw ports, so you can add lots of bits and bobs. You could even attach it to a tripod. Personally, I think to uh, turn it into that kind of device seems a bit over the top, really. Um, personally, I'd use it as something to keep in my bag, where it gives me better sound quality, um, a better grip, better movement for panning shots and oh, things like that. Look, George, look. Can you see that one? Well, you see it better than mummy.